Hello, I'm Jennifer Goodman with Good Life Realty, and I'm here today with Eric Gonzalez of Sago International. Eric, I'm really excited about your entry into the 2016 Modern Homes Tour this year, 2510 Trail of the Madrones. Boy, you. did you build a beautiful home. Thank you very much. I'm glad you liked it. What was your inspiration for that house? The site. Um, I have to say, when I first visited the site, um, I wasn't that impressed with it because it was overgrown with cedar and all sorts of weeds. But uh, um, after literally digging in and getting in there and seeing and feeling the site, mm. um, I was uh, inspired and kind of started my, you know, my juices flowing. Yeah, and the site has so many things going for it, from, from the elevation to the stone and your use of building like right into the natural stone. Thank you, yeah. We know we wanted to uh, uh, design and build a one-story house, mm -hmm. uh, but because the lot has a, a, a gentle slope uh, uh, from the street level going up, the house seems to be, well, it is at the highest point. Uh, uh, which, which we were able to uh, play with the, the, the sculptural element of having something floating mm -hmm. above the street level. And um, it's turned out great, I believe. What makes this house unique? Would you say it's the property? I mean, could you put that house on another property? No, definitely not. The house is on one level, right? Mm -hmm. But a large portion of the house is suspended in the air. Um, uh, underneath those portions of the house that are open spaces, um, I have two carports for mm -hmm. five carports total. Um, so like I said, there's a very sculptural quality of this big volume mm -hmm. up in the air. Um, and, and, and by the way, all the, all the rooms are oriented so that they all have natural light. All the rooms have um, a beautiful view of the valley beyond. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's not like uh, there was a room that I sacrificed to, uh, you know, take advantage of the, you know, the pretty views that we have had of the, the surrounding hills. Do you have a favorite room in that house? I think the main room of the house is the kitchen, dining, living combined space. Mm -hmm. It's very warm. It's very central because that's where uh, uh, the two wings converge, mm -hmm. the master wing and then the wing of the, the, the secondary bedrooms. We had a chance at the house to talk about some of the eco-friendly or efficiencies built into the house. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? and what you've done with this house, because you've done quite a few things from an orientation standpoint and a light consideration and all of those things. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, the, I think one of the main ones is the, the orientation of the house and uh, the, the, the window systems where they're um, uh, directed. Um, uh, it, 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 it maximizes light because most of the rooms face the south orientation. Mm -hmm. Uh, so you get that nice sun in the colder winter months when the, when the sun is tilted south. Um, uh, but when the hotter months come around in the summer, that sun is higher up. So therefore, those rooms are not getting that direct sunlight and, you know, uh, that heat gain. Inside the house, um, you know, there's a huge amount of um, I isonine insulation, which is a foam insulation that occupies the whole cavity of the wall, mm. most of the roof uh, structure as well, and um, high sear uh, uh, AC units. Um, the actual location of the AC units, for example, in, in one, there are two, mm -hmm. one part of the house, um, the unit is, is located very centrally uh, so as to minimize the effort for the unit to uh, cool and heat uh, that portion of the house. 
One of the things we haven't talked too much about yet for this property um, is with that redistribution of um, the ground and what you did for elevations, what did you do from a landscaping perspective? The landscaping was kept very simple mm -hmm. with uh, native plants, uh, drought tolerant, and I, I think it's very pretty too. It is. O over time it's going to blossom. And, and by the way, the house, then the shape of the house was designed to, so as to not to disturb the existing beautiful oak trees that were there. So just outside of, you know, every side of the house, you see a beautiful oak tree um, yeah. that is very, very, uh, it's not a it's not a three inch you know transplant that you know that you you know you should have if you had cleared the lot which is much easier and then plant something no you were you're very considerate I mean you can see that from the footprint of the building is so purposeful um, and the way the exterior not only is elevated but at the same time feels like it's one with the space I don't know how you did that Thank you. It's my secret. It's <laughs> no. Well, no. you definitely, definitely no. um, have an ability to, to utilize space and form. Um, both, I mean, from the moment you walk to the property to the moment you're inside, like it has one look from the outside and you're kind of like going up the stairs and you're hoping it's not going to disappoint. You're thinking if it's as, if it's as um, considerate inside for how people live as it is, for the way it's treated the outside, then this is gonna be like an incredible experience and you walk into the house and it is that. And thank you. It, yeah, so thank you for bringing us such an incredible house this year for the tour. I can't wait for people to see it. What a great compliment, consider it. That's awesome, I appreciate that. My pleasure, well thank you for being part of the tour again this year. I'm Jennifer Goodman with Good Life Realty and I'm here today with Eric Gonzalez of Sago International and you're gonna see his place on the 2016 Modern Homes Tour.